Hi, I'm Crystal McFetters, Public Information Officer with the Unified Government of Wyandotte County in Kansas City, Kansas, and welcome to another episode of On the Dot. Considering the recent closure of the Kansas Avenue Bridge, we wanted to address some questions and concerns that may be looming. So today I have some amazing guests with me to provide an infrastructure update as well as discuss the future of the DOT in relation to infrastructure. Please welcome Interim County Administrator, Ms. Cheryl Harrison Lee and Director of Public Works, Mr. Jeff Fisher. Thank you both for joining me on today. Um, so we're gonna jump right on in. I'm gonna start with you, um, Jeff, if that's okay. I have a few questions. We're gonna kind of bounce some back and forth. And so if you have any questions as well, please let me know. Um, so can you describe um, the overall state of infrastructure in Wyandotte County in Kansas City, Kansas for us, please? Yeah, um, so Kansas City, Kansas has uh, 2,400 lane miles of streets, uh, well over 200 bridges, 17 of those are major bridges, um, six of those are river crossings, uh, we have miles and miles, hundreds of miles of sewer lines, both sanitary sewer and stormwater. Uh, we have over 200 facilities. And um, generally speaking, they're all very challenging. Our streets, for example, um, three years ago was the first time that the UG had scanned the roads to uh, collect data to understand the conditions of the roads and the average pavement condition index rating for streets was 56. Uh, three years later, uh, it's 51. Uh, bridges, we know are failing. We have two major river crossings that have now been closed in the last year, year and a half. And then we have multiple structures, smaller structures that have failed and roads are closed. Um, stormwater infrastructure, uh, many people know we've been engaging the public and the, and the commission for over three years and uh, have told that story. Uh, stormwater infrastructure is in uh, poor condition. And in 10 years, if we continue to do the way we've been doing it, uh, it'll be in, in uh, the majority of being a failed state. Same for streets. 10 years, if we continue to invest the same levels, um, roads will begin to turn into gravel. Uh, so the, the situation is dire and I would say a crisis. Thank you for that information. Thank you. Ms. Harrison Lee, I'm going to go right into it with you for a quick question. Um, you recently visited the Kansas Avenue Bridge um, with our public works team and some consultants. As someone that's relatively new to Wyandotte County in Kansas City, Kansas, how would you describe the current state of our infrastructure? Um, I, I'm happy to join you today and I would describe the infrastructure as being one that it is crumbling. When I look at the investment that the uh, county is making, um, we are at a point where we really have to look at a strategy. Um, it has been my experience as a, an administrator and as someone who has been responsible for long-term uh, planning for counties and cities, that it's important to have a long range capital improvement plan. Um, oftentimes you'll see that five years in the state of Kansas, um, other states look at 10 years. We really haven't made the investment. As I looked at the bridge, it was troubling to see some of the, the challenges and some of the components of the bridge that are failing that do not allow us to keep it open for, for businesses and for our residents and for visitors to Wyandotte County. Thank you, thank you. So I'm not an engineer. <laughs> Help me um, understand how you manage infrastructure and safety and maintenance with the unified government. And I'll kind of pose that question to Mr. Fisher. Well, there are a lot of best practices around maintaining infrastructure. Um, the uh, maintaining the infrastructure uh, here in the UG, we know how to do it. Are there things we can improve on? Certainly, and we have over the last few years. Um, it, and, and so it's really about investment. Now, I will say um, one of the things that Public Works has begun uh, the, 
APWA, the American Public Works Association accreditation process. In North America, there's like 14,000 cities, right? Uh, only 200 of them are accredited. Uh, I've been a part of two cities in my past that went through that process. It absolutely improves processes. It improves teamwork, it improves services. Uh, we have uh, begun to go through that process here this year. We expect to be done with that in the next three years. That will be a way for us to identify where improvements are needed and make sure that those uh, processes and procedures, plans and policies are written and available to the team and to the community if they wanted it. Uh, so uh, there are a number of best practices. One of the things that we've done here over the last few years, it's been a little bit of an evolution. Um, street preservation, for example, was done by district. They used to allot money to each district every year and do streets that needed work. And that wasn't as efficient as we could be. So we've went to, we've transformed into a area focused uh, approach where um, the utilities know in advance, uh, a year or two in advance, they can do all their work before street preservation comes through and does overlays or microsurfacing or even chip seal. Uh, so we're getting more systematic each year, and that's really important to the future. Though, as far as street preservation goes, the key to street preservation is to spend as little money as possible to get the most life out of the asset. And uh, the UG now is beginning to use methods that every, everybody else has been using for decades, and that's going to be really important. Thank you so much. Thank you. Ms. Harrison, I'm going to pose this question to you. Why is investing in our infrastructure, such as our roads, our bridges, and our building so important to our economic development or our um, future growth? Well, that's an important uh, investment to make because our roads provide connectivity to the rest of the region. Um, our bridges are important because as we connect Armadale and the bottoms to the highway and road network across Kansas City, um, it allows us to be ready for other economic development opportunities. In the last 30 days, we've had two fantastic announcements in the state of Kansas, from the Panasonic plant to the World Cup. Um, those are opportunities to showcase Wyandotte County and potentially attract new companies and residents, but we must be ready. In order for us to be on that world stage, we're going to have the appropriate, we have to have the appropriate roads, bridges, as well as housing. There are a lot of things that we need to look at in order to be able to attract residents and businesses to our area. Thank you, thank you so much. Um, Jeff, this one's back at you. What should the public look forward to um, for the next Monday's upcoming Public Works and Safety Standing Committee meeting? It's a, it's a really important uh, initiative. The uh, former mayor initiated subcommittees around infrastructure, there were three of them, to uh, work with staff uh, to better understand what the challenges were uh, and what are, what are the outcomes that the commission wants from infrastructure over the next decade or two and what are the important strategies to get there. And so that those and the uh, uh, Mayor Garner has supported that. So we've continued to do that. Um, we started that in August of 2021 and uh, continue to work together. But a couple, three months ago, those subcommittees came together and said, here's the document that we want to begin to reference as we make decisions around infrastructure. And so Monday night, the standing committee is going to consider adopting that outcomes and strategies document uh, by resolution. Thank you, thank you. This will be kind of my last question. And if you all um, both have anything to add, please feel free. Um, Ms. Harrison Lee, so right now we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the unified government. Um, as we look forward to the next 25 years for Wyandotte County, what is the overall infrastructure strategy and some just some general recommendations you have moving forward for us? Structure strategy must be closely intertwined with our land use and economic development strategy. As Mr. Fisher mentioned, at next week's Public Works and Standing Safety Standing Committee, we will be looking at the infrastructure strategy as part of our overall plan to be able to move the unified government forward. Also on Thursday, July 28th, we're going to hear a presentation on our draft GoDOT mobility strategy, which is going to be in focus on how we move people and goods across our region. 
Um, these are all important components because as we continue to have developers come to the UG to present projects, we must have infrastructure in place. In addition, it is my hope that we will have an economic development strategy, um, that we will look at priority areas, that we will look at incentives, both state and local incentives to be able to incentivize new businesses and residents to our area. And finally, we are also beginning an 18 month long process to update our citywide master plan. All of these efforts collectively will shape the how we will achieve the commission's goals for improved infrastructure countywide. Thank you. This was some amazing information for me. So I'm very, I know the public will be very um, excited to hear this information and as well as some of these upcoming meetings you both mentioned. Um, do you all have anything additional you would like to add um, or just some information that will be posted on our website coming in the future? Anything you would like to add for us? <laughs> yeah, I think, I think, you know, I joined the, I joined the team uh, almost six years ago, uh, not from Kansas, not from Wyandotte County. Um, and I, part of the reason why I chose to join the team is because when I did the homework on this community, I really appreciated a number of things about this community. It has real strengths and it has real potential to be a special community, a community of choice. And uh, it, we just have to tackle infrastructure and economic development. I think those are really key to its future. And uh, we can have a bright future if we're able to overcome this, this challenge. Definitely. Thank you. Ms. Harrison Lee, any, any last words for yeah. residents? Yes. I, I would like to say this is an amazing opportunity to serve as the, the interim county administrator here at Wyandotte County. There are some um, great things that are going on with staff. There is a good team of employees here that are committed to uh, Wyandotte County. I'm not a doc. I'm a semicolon. That's what a transplant is. And so um, just really having an opportunity to look at how to help position this organization for the permanent administrator has been um, an exciting opportunity and been real rewarding. Thank you. We, for one, I want to personally thank you both for the work that you do, as well as just joining me on today to kind of um, um, answer some concerns and questions that people may have had about our infrastructure. This was very helpful. Um, I just want to say that there may be additional information that you um, both may share. We'll make sure and we'll post that information on our website, www.ycokck.org. And again, like I said, I just want to thank you both. And we look forward to hearing more from you as well as from your department. So thank you so much. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you. Thank you, Crystal. Thank you.